Hi everyone, I'm John Ingle with Clarion Energy and we are here on the floor of Distributech International 2022 in Dallas with Pat Paquet, Senior Director of Microwave with Nokia. Pat, so happy to have you with us today and sharing about the innovations that Nokia is pre presenting here in terms of microwave radio. Can you share with us some of those innovations? Oh, absolutely, and appreciate the opportunity to do that. So Nokia is presenting three new features into the Wavens microwave radio platform. The first feature is the ultra broadband transceiver outdoor combiner module. Um, so the, the key advantage here, this is an application of long haul, low frequency applications where the site or building has limited access. So you put the electronics on the tower uh, that eliminates the insertion loss and pressurization system inherent in waveguide systems, saving cost and adding flexibility. We, we take basically the filters, put them up on the tower, and that provides it with the UBTT the 4 plus 0 application. And this OCM, outdoor combiner module, is module, you can keep adding those. So you start off with 2.5 gigabits of traffic, and if you want to go all the way up to a 16 plus zero and get 10 gigabits of traffic, that's possible. And this is available in six, seven, eight, and 11 gigahertz band. And second feature we're talking about today is our Wavens Interference Notification software included or in part of the network services platform network management system. And Recently, the FCC has introduced unlicensed Wi-Fi devices into the six gigahertz band, which has caused some concern in the market. So what this allows us to do is monitor the microwave network and watch for these telltale signs of potential interference and alert the operators, which is very important for them to know how to use it. So it looks at the, the uh, performance monitors, the KPIs, the RSL adaptive modulation, and will do the correlation and raise a red flag and let you know if there's an issue associated with that. Then third and final is our ultra broadband transceiver standalone all indoor RF unit. So this unit is form factor, same form factor as our MPT HLC, which has been a workhorse for us in this market. And it's a slide in replacement if you want to upgrade and it's available today. So Pat, what differentiators does the UBTI bring to the market? Well, this is, a, this is an industry first. We have two differentiators. First, we add 80 megahertz channel support. So now we can do 700 megabits in a, in a channel. But more importantly, the, the feature is we take the Bell Labs technology from our UBT, S and T, and we incorporate that into the UBTI, which allows us to do a standalone mode, first in the industry for an all RF unit. And this provides cost savings and flexibility to the operator. So what I can do now is I can do a one plus zero repeater or a two plus zero terminal, all standalone, uh, which is going to be a cost savings because I don't have to add uh, the, R, the, the baseband units underneath if I don't need it. And I can connect up through a standard giggy or 10 giggy interface to anybody's router or switch in, in the network. So cost savings, flexibility, and total cost of ownership. And Pat, how are Nokia's microwave radio solutions different from others? Oh, uh, the list is long. So <laughs> Nokia is not a single technology provider. We are part of a suite of Nokia offerings that include microwave, optical, routers, network management specific, uh, radio access networks, and, and we provide the products and services that provide a full end-to-end -end communication network for the mission critical markets. Uh, we're a one-stop shop for all your mission critical communication needs. Excellent. Pat, thank you so much for being here at Distribute Tech. Thank you very much.